Good morning, everyone. Great to have you join us here on this Tuesday. Uh, and this week, I'm just talking about navigating life, uh, navigating our circumstances, and it's great to be able to just share God's Word. And I'm looking at Psalm 119, uh, verses 105. It says, Your Word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. I remember as a kid, we, we went, we had the privilege of going down to, to Otsuram, to Kango Caves, and I'd heard rumors about this cave, how big it was and huge. Uh, and one of the things they did was they took us into this cave and it was complete darkness. I remember standing there and you couldn't see anything. You could literally wave your hands in front of your eyes uh, and it was completely black, no light whatsoever. You could smack your brother on the back of the head and you wouldn't know who hit him. Uh, so it was a really cool experience. And I remember while we're standing there in this darkness in this cave, they switch on a light. And instantly it brought perception, it brought um, uh, understanding to the, the size. And you actually saw the size of what this cave looked like. And it was huge. It was absolutely monstrous. Uh, massive. But all of a sudden you, you could see where you were. You could see your perspective uh, uh, in this huge, big auditorium in this cave. And this is the idea I get when I look at this verse. God's word is a lamp. It's a light. And it seemed like the, the darkness was overpowering and overwhelming. But as soon as there's the smallest spark of light, it dispels all darkness. You see, when you bring God's word into the confusion and chaos, and maybe you're just trying to make sense of your life this week. Uh, maybe circumstances have happened, things are happening, or you're trying to make a decision. Um, God's word is where, where it needs to start. And that's what the psalmist says. says, your word, as we spoke about yesterday, but he says, is a light. Is a light to my feet. It brings, it makes sense of the things around, our environments around us. And when you go to God's Word, when you sit in God's Word, um, your life all of a sudden, and you switch on, and the light of God's Word comes into your life, you all of a sudden have an understanding of your circumstance, your perspective, your role. And so just a reminder for you today on this Tuesday, to bring God's light into your life, because it will make sense will help you to understand where you are and what, what is going on and what God's plan is. Let's pray. Lord, I just pray for, for those of us today that are just feeling in our life like the things and the circumstances can be overpowering. Uh, they seem to be all-consuming and we may not be able to see more than a few millimeters in front of us because of darkness, just because of, of, of circumstances of life. But Lord, I'm reminded that your, light, your word is a light and that it shines. And when your light shines, it just brings perspective, helps us to understand. And so Lord, I pray for those of us today where maybe we've been feeling overwhelmed, we've been feeling surrounded but not knowing what's going on. Lord, I pray that your, your word would speak to us and bring light into our circumstances today. And that for each one of us, we would know and see your plan and your hand the greatest scheme of this world. Praise in Jesus' name. Amen.